Hi, my name is Robin McCracken. I'm the diesel product manager, and I want to show you something extremely exciting. One of the engineering uh, uh, possibilities uh, with Thor, what they've done is a direct attack on, on being the best short diesel on the market today. And so we're extremely excited about this. First thing you're going to notice is a nice one-piece windshield, very automotive. And it's not the typical bulb seal you see. It's, it's, it's a nice, clean, one-piece windshield. Absolutely awesome. The other thing on a short coach, and believe it or not, this is a diesel, 300 horsepower, Freightliner chassis, 22 and a half inch tractor trailer tires, a little bit more than a gas coach. That's it. So here's the exciting thing right here, diesel generator. Most of the coaches in this price range are going to run you an LP or a gas generator. This is a diesel generator on a 90 gallon tank and I can fill from both sides. Phenomenal. We're going to walk around here a little bit and instead of having a Mickey Mouse window right here, I got side cameras. No blind spots in this coach whatsoever. Right, you have the automatic awning and the one thing you're going to notice is dual fuel fills. Okay, it doesn't matter what side I pull in, I'm going to have access to my fuel tank. 22 and a half inch wheels, unheard of for a coach this size. Normally they're 19 inch wheels, these are tractor trailer wheels, easy to get replaced on a Freightliner chassis with millions of testing miles instead of just 5,000, 6,000 testing miles on a homemade chassis, I am now on a Freightliner. And this is full air ride, air brakes. Not only is the best ride out there for a short coach, but what Thor has done is maximize the wheelbase. They, they've just done an awesome job. Part of getting a short coach in today's world, people want a shorter coach, they want to go into the state parks, you're going to notice how low profile it'll get you in a 12 foot door or less, and you're going to notice how, how low it is and how short it is, but look at that wheelbase, huge wheelbase. The longer the wheelbase, the better the ride. That's why 45 foot Prevos have this elegant ride, it's the wheelbase. Okay, so here I'm maximizing on a 33 foot, this, that's all it is, 33 foot long, and I'm maximizing the wheelbase. Part of the reason how I'm doing this is I took the front door and moved it to the side. Anytime you put a door here means I have to shorten the wheelbase, hence worse ride. Okay, so, so I got a real... This is a really exciting way of doing it, but I'm maximizing the wheelbase, giving you the longest ride possible, and it has an incredible ride. So not only do I have low height, I have Freightliner chassis, I have uh, 22 and a half inch wheels, not the, not the 19 and a half that are typical. I don't have any Mickey Mouse window here. I have side cameras, and I'm loaded up. And on top of that, huge storage. I have storage here. And then I'm going to show you something really exciting. And let's come on over here. This is absolutely amazing. And if you look all the way through, pass through. For such a short coach to have pass through like this, vacuum bonded siding, Freightliner chassis, big nine and a half inch rails. And I'm going to show you something that here. Not only do you have the big pass through, but you have a nice slide out tray. Incredible. So you got this short coach. The competition out there has literally no outside storage. You have this maximized storage. You have the suicide door style, lock up, and very clean. The other thing I want to show you, and I can't believe it's in the price range of a gas coach, outside entertainment. So you have the big awning, it's electric, outside entertainment. How can you beat this? Absolutely amazing. The other thing I want to get into is a little bit more technical, and the fact is, is that in this price range, there's things that uh, have been happening in the industry that uh, dealers and manufacturers are calling thermal cracking and things like that, where the siding and the paint is starting to spider web and all this kind of stuff. What it amounts to is just cheap car paint. 
This is Sickens. Best paint in the industry by far, and I've never seen it in a product in this price range. So what that does is fiberglass expands. You go down to Florida for where I'm from, it gets hot. With all this black here, the fiberglass will expand, then contract, expand, contract. In two years, you'll have all these spider webs happening. They blame it on the fiberglass, they'll blame it on the manufacturer, they'll blame it on everybody. What it amounts to is just cheap paint. Sickens is the best paint in the industry. Maseratis, Lamborghinis, all the big Hattersses, all the big boats, all run Sickens. It's four times more expensive, but it's the best paint in the industry. And what it means to you, 10 years, this thing will look gorgeous. 15 years, this thing will look gorgeous. And you're also going to notice this is no stickers. This is all paint. Even the name is painted in instead of a cheap sticker. So for, for the price range, low profile, 33 foot, Freightliner chassis, 22 and a half inch wheels with a whopping 300 horsepower motor, unheard of for this price range. And then I have Sickens paint on top of everything else. Let's go back to the slides. Swintech slides, what it means to you is precision going in and out. Okay, I'm not having just a motor with a rod down here and moving in and out like a drawer where the top is shaking all over the place. I, these are Swintech slides, meaning there's a motor on this side, there's a motor on the other side. It comes in like precision, okay? In and out precision, none of this shaking, none of this wondering whether it's going to go in and out. And then on top of everything else, toppers. No debris is going to get in, ruin my seal from the rain and obviously from the trees. If you get under some branches, no problem. Absolutely awesome. Let's go around the, uh, the back a little bit, or let's see here, actually. The DEF, okay, so the DEF is now the way it goes, all right? And what that's just going to mean to you is pollution-free. It meets all the requirements of the environment. It's pollution-free, and then what we're finding out, it's actually raising fuel economy. So this is an additive. It's only 2% of your solution, uh, so it's not a big deal. Twice, three times a year, maybe you're going to have to fill it up. No big deal. So we walk around here, and then this is something that I've never seen in a coach like this at this price range. 2,000 inverter. Typically, standards around 600. That's nothing but allowing you to turn on your TV without turning on the generator. This thing will light everything up off my batteries. Absolutely amazing. We wrap around the side here, and the big issue here is in this price range, the competition, a little 5,000 pound towing capability. That's it, 5,000 pounds. This is a whopping 10,000 pounds. I have $400,000 coaches that are at 10,000 pounds. What it means is this is a Freightliner chassis with a 10,000 pound hitch and an Allison transmission. That's the best in the business with a 300 horsepower, not some uh, rinky-dink 230 horsepower little motor. I mean, this is an animal. This thing will perform, and everything. And what we're finding out is also double digits on fuel economy. No big deal on this. So you can have clean environment, the best fuel economy, get into most state parks, and you have a rear diesel pusher, not a puller that the competition is coming up with, or a small little motor that the competition is coming up with. This is a real live Cummins, not a, a, a makeshift type motor that nobody's ever heard of. So five year warranty on it, best motor in the industry by far. All right, not only does this have a rear diesel, 300 uh, horsepower, look at that crown roof. Okay, what the crown roof means to you is no rain. Water standing up there like a flat roof, you want the crown. You don't want to have water problems with your roof. And this has a really nice crown on it. And so you want to look at that every time you look at a motorhome because I cannot believe how many flat roofs that I see in the motorhome business. Absolutely ridiculous. Then you're seeing that you do have the backup camera 
and that is absolutely awesome as well. So we got the side cameras, the backup cameras. That means 360 degree view, no blind spots in this coach whatsoever. And then I also mentioned the 10,000 pound hitch. Absolutely amazing for this price range, for this type of coach to have such a huge pulling capability. So it's incredible. So now we're going to walk around here, and, and what I also want to point out is, is look how clean you can, I mean, I just can't get over this paint. I mean, the paint is just phenomenal. But look at uh, minor details, and they pay attention to all this. Okay, water heater. Water heater, everybody has a water heater. But look where it's placed, under the floorboard. What that means to you is quiet. When I see them plastered on the side of the coach in the living area, and then I have to hear the water heater every time it turns on. So this is below the floor line. Very important. Now, with utility area, the other thing that they do here is that on such a short coach, such an a, a, a economical coach, look at what they're doing here. Four house batteries. These are six volt four house batteries, two engine batteries. I got enough batteries in here to light up a small city. So I have shut off valves instead of just the Mickey Mouse little 12 volt setup. I can shut it off like I would a boat and I have four house batteries. And now part of what, the reason why they have so much power in the 2000 inverter is I'll show you inside. And we'll, we'll take a couple minutes and I'll show you that. But the other thing I want to mention is 50 amp service, not 30 amp, 50 amp. I can run both air conditioners, 33 foot with two air conditioners, and 50 amp service. Okay, so utility area, 100% filtered water. Very important. Also, you'll see my dump valves are in a heated compartment, so I can get to everything instead of pipes hanging out from underneath. But look at how clean it is. And then I have an outside shower, hot and cold water right here that I can wash off after I make my mess, take the dogs, uh, wash the kids' feet, whatever you need to do. Cable in, uh, input, hose, very clean, very to the point, and, uh, and uh, all inside. This is the other side of my storage. Perfect place for lawn chairs, things like that, that I can shove in here and, and talk about cavernous. I mean, this is huge, the, the fact that I got all this in such a small coach. The other thing that you want to notice on these slides, because I did say it's Swintec and I did say the two motors, instead of one little 12 volt motor, I have two motors. Make sure this slide comes in. But you got to notice how clean it is underneath. I, this doesn't have a lot of bars running in and out of it. It doesn't have fiberglass and, and things hanging on it. Look how clean this is. This is the way they're supposed to be. Okay, very clean. I have my LP tank right here. Easy access, easy service. And then the big thing for this coach is another access to fuel. All right, so again, like I said, instead of a 60-gallon tank, 40-gallon tank, I'm down 90 gallons, and I can fill from either side. It's very convenient. Like I said, you had the, the camera here, which we had on the other side. And the big thing here is the, the wiring compartment. Look how clean this is. I want to really point this out because a lot of these coaches, when you open the wiring compartment, it's spaghetti factory. Uh, it's a mess. Duct tape all over the place. Look at how clean this is. And the big thing I want to point out is this right here. That is an automatic generator start. You decide to go shopping, hiking, whatever. Your pets are in the coach. The, you left the air conditioner on, whatever. The batteries are weak. It'll kick on all by itself. Get that air conditioning going. But the automatic generator start. In this price range, I've never seen it before. So this is incredible. This is what I just noticed, and I don't know if you're going to be able to pick this up on the camera, but that is a diamond shield. That's usually three hundred, four hundred thousand dollar coaches. What that does is it puts a coating on the coach, and it's a synthetic, like a plastic-like see-through material, and it makes it very clean. But it keeps the rocks, the nicks, the paint from being damaged. And so, again, like I said, not, not much more than a gas coach, and I have a diamond shield on this thing. 
absolutely amazing. And then access to my generator. Okay, here's the other thing I want to show you. This is what blows the competition out of the water clearly. I'm six foot four. Look at the height here. Most of these coaches, 33 foot, 32 foot, front diesels, rear diesels, whatever it is, I can't stand up in it. Look at the height. I can wear a big cowboy hat. I mean, it's awesome. And it's not just wallpaper. This is a nice touch vinyl. Awesome in the fact that you have the lighting system, the ducking system, touch uh, vinyl, and then a dumping system here. So your air conditioner, you're real hot, you want to open it up, blow the air down, cool the system, cool the coach down as fast as possible. So it's really, really cool. I'm going to go up front here a little bit, and then both these seats will turn. So you have entertainment, you want to turn these seats around. And then the other thing you're going to notice is the fact that I got a little laptop set up, really clean, really good looking. The visibility on this coach is absolutely amazing. Okay, my TV's in the back, so I don't have this Mickey Mouse TV sitting right here blocking my obstruction, my view. And look at the detail of the cabinetry, mortise and tendon, very nice fit and finish, double shocks, hidden hinges. Just amazing for this price range. Top of the line, top, top, top of the line. The other thing I want you to point uh, that I'm going to point out here is automatic leveling, Allison transmission. And then one thing that's really sweet, 90% of the time you're going to get to the park, you're going to get to a campground, you're going to get to the shopping center, whatever. Look at my dump valve right there. I can dump this thing, release all the air, and I don't have to play with jacks whatsoever. So it's got the cleanest dash, it's got a Burlwood kind of look. You can never tell that this is an entry level diesel. It's absolutely amazing. And then the big thing, Freightliner chassis. This is a full air ride air brakes. It's amazing how many coaches out there that are running a diesel motor on a gas chassis. Doesn't make any sense at all. This one is the full package. You got a sleeper sofa, you got nice covering, it's got luxury written throughout this entire coach. All right, now the dinette will, and I have the pillow around the corner, but that will actually make a bed as well. So you have this flipping over to make a big queen size bed, this dinette center to make a bed. I mean, easily six people in this coach, easily. The kitchen, huge kitchen, big pullouts. And the Corian-like countertops. This is not cheap for mica. You would think in this price range it would be, but this is not cheap for mica. This, look at this, how clean this is. Corian counter uh, and Corian sinks. Pull-out faucets. All right, not just a cheap uh, stainless steel. All right, nice covers. Everything fits beautifully. Gas top. Three burner. Confection microwave. Stainless steel package. This is the best, guys. This is absolutely the best. Storage everywhere. Storage everywhere. So part of the interior height, it's more important than me being 6'4 and being able to walk into the coach, okay? So what's important is the higher the ceiling, the bigger the windows, the larger the cabinetry. Okay, so if I was shorter on the ceiling, I now have to shorten the cabinetry and I have to shorten the windows. So now I have this gigantic interior space. And the one thing you're also going to notice, no carpet. It's wall-to-wall -wall tile. It's very clean. And this is the best stuff in the business. It doesn't matter what environment you're in. Cold, hot, it's extremely durable. All right, so, so I don't have this carpet set up, carpet padding. I know it drives my wife nuts when, when we have a carpet here and I got to take the shoes off and it's always dirty and everything else. So it's got a very, very clean look. Center Entertainment Center. Okay, so you have this big TV entertainment center. Instead of up there, this makes more sense. It's more of a living room kind of feel. But here's the sweetest thing, because I get constantly the gripes from customers telling me, well, when the slide is in, I can't watch TV. Thor's thought of everything. I can bring this thing in. The slide's in. The kids can watch TV now. Look at that. That is neat as all get up. 
So I got this big TV with stereo surround sound type of feel, and then I can have that slide come in and bring out the TV too. So it's absolutely amazing. But the one thing that's going to set this coach apart from everybody else and the 2000 inverter, remember I was talking about 2000 inverter and four house batteries? Here's the reason. Residential refrigerator. This is right out of your house, guys. This is the best refrigerator in the business. LP refrigerator. Never made any sense to me. Okay, you have a 14 cubic foot, 12 cubic foot. You open this up, you get a beer or Coke, whatever. You close it up. LP refrigerators take a full 24 hours to get back to the temperature that it was. That's why I find it so amusing that you see these four-door LP refrigerators with ice in the door. All right? Two cubes, maybe, will come out of that every 24 hours. What is the point? These guys right here put a residential refrigerator in this. Look at how big this thing is. This thing is huge with a real residential ice tray. Okay, you don't have to go to 7-Eleven, pick up your ice, whatever. I got plenty of ice on this thing. So this is the biggest in the business. It's huge access. But then one thing that you're going to really like, full pantry. So I have a huge refrigerator, residential, very efficient. I got more house batteries than I know what to do with. I, I could dry camp. I could do whatever I want with this. And then I have a big, huge pantry area as well, making it awesome for storage, okay? You have your shower separate. Then I have the bathroom. Good, solid door, but look at what's happening here. Okay, this turns into a privacy door. I don't have a Mickey Mouse shade. I don't have a door that I have to pull out of a pocket. This is twofold. I can use it for privacy. I can go to my commode, and then I have a sink. So I have a nice commode, clean area, plenty of room. I have a beautiful sink here to wash up, utility area. It's awesome. And then on top of that, I have a vent and more importantly, an air conditioner vent. All right. So that's very important. A lot of times that I see these coaches, you shut the bathroom door and this thing won't get any air conditioning. This has got it. So, so you have the soft touch vinyl, you have the uh, uh, fan, you have air conditioning duct lit all beautiful. I have a utility door or a privacy door that comes in here, queen bed, again an air conditioner, and look at all this storage here. I have hanging space, I have drawer space, and I have big windows, huge windows. And so this is, this is really, really neat. So not only big windows, how, look at this TV. Okay, that is a nice size TV. So I have the big TV out in the center of the uh, living area. I got a TV outside for the ball game. Then I have a huge TV here, and it's all just done up very, very professional, very, very nice interior decorating, very clean. And then uh, you're going to also notice the fact that there's no wheel wells here. Okay, a lot of these coaches, and I didn't bring that up on the, on the front seats, but a lot of these coaches are what I call narrow body, 96. This is a full body, 102. But they're, they're so low profile that they have wheel wells. I haven't seen that since the 80s, where you have to step up to get to your bed because you're over the axles of the tires. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Th this is gigantic absolutely huge. So for a 33 footer to have this large of interior space is absolutely amazing. I'm very excited about this. You're looking at four vents, you're looking at surround sound, dump valves, vinyl touch, uh, a hanging closet. I mean this is a really nice, nice bedroom. All right, thank you. I'm very excited that you spent all this time with me. This is an incredible product. My name is Robin. I'd be more than happy to talk to you at any time. We have four stores. Motorhome headquarters is just the place to buy, and the more research you do, the more you realize that we're the guys to buy from. Feel free to call me anytime. I'll be more than happy if you want to call the office and give you my cell phone. We explain this coach or anything else we have. Love to do some business with you. Thank you very much.